Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Teresa and I'm 53 years old. And in this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about skincare, particularly just kind of the skincare routine that I follow. So if you're interested in that, keep watching. First off, I do want to preface with any background noise. I apologize. As I've mentioned in previous videos, I am in an area where there's new construction going on. And so a lot of times um, you hear hammering, uh, all that kind of thing, and that's what's happening. So it inevitably always happens the loudest on the days that I'm filming. So as I mentioned, this is my skincare routine. I'm not saying that this is anything anybody should do. I just thought I'd share with what I have been doing. And I will first say, I am really not loyal to any certain brand or product line or anything like that. In fact, I'm not even convinced that all of the serums and lotions and all potions that we put on our face really do anything. Um, we're all going to age and we're all going to get wrinkles and all of that. And I, it doesn't stop me from buying stuff and trying stuff, but um, yeah, I, I think so much of it is genetics, a piece of it. Uh, for example, I have oily skin and I think sometimes that actually can work to your advantage and things like that, but I digress. Let me just go back to, first of all, products, because like I said, I'm not convinced how much certain products do anything, but you know, I still buy them. You probably do too. And what I have learned, I, if you're sleeping on the Dollar Tree right now, you shouldn't be. And if that just turned you off to this video, so be it. I'm just being honest. I feel like recently the Dollar Tree has stepped up their game. And if you're wanting to try products, this is a great place to do it because you're not going to spend much money. Let me just show you what I mean. Their B Pure line, um, which is just one of the lines they carry. I mean, this is like a little glass jar and it even says compared to Olay Regenerous Night Recovery Cream. And it's this little jar of night cream. And so I don't know, it may be the exact same. I don't know, but um, certainly worth giving a shot. I try it. It's totally fine. I, I mean, I have so many of their products. Like they're, they have this other line that is by Global Beauty Care. There's like a smooth and lift one that's like more collagen based. They have a, a retinol skin cream. As you can see, I have a lot of these products. They have a lift and firm line, which is um, with collagen and peptides. They have a vitamin C skin cream. So I have a lot of their stuff and I try it and I see absolutely no difference than any higher end stuff I've tried. So I way rather spend the dollar 25 on these things if I'm getting questionable benefit. So I know that sounds funny. Oh, one other thing I get there, I've gotten there, uh, this beauty guru under eye vitamin C serum. You can see I've used about, uh, it's like down to there. Again, I use this every single day. I don't know if it's doing anything, but I still use it because I have it. It's a little roller ball. I just roll it on there and kind of pat it in. I do it every day. If it's doing anything, I have no idea. I even have a body care line. Like this is supposed to be inspired by Victoria's Secret's Love Spell. I haven't actually tried this one yet, but I heard good things about it. So I found it and picked it up. Cause a lot of times you hear about things and then they're sold out because some of it's pretty good. This isn't from the Dollar Tree, but I'm pretty sure you can get one there. One of these jade rollers, this feels really good. I do this most days. Um, again, if it does anything or not, I don't know. It certainly feels good. Just the, I keep it, I store it in my fridge and um, it just is very soothing. So those things fall in the line of, I don't know if they're doing anything or not but I haven't spent a lot of money trying. Now let's get into some of the things I do every day that I I actually do really like. So, um, and that is what am I putting on my skin at, like every day? With the Dollar Tree items, it's more like what I pick up hit or miss. I'm always rotating through stuff. So, but I just, overall, they're all fine. Actually cleaning my face, I have been using something daily for probably years now and I just seem to really like it. It seems to agree with my skin because I know, you know, different things can have different reactions on people. I don't want to show you the one I'm using because it's kind of gross looking. There's nothing to look at, but it's the African black soap. 
and you can actually get one at the Dollar Tree. So I'll try to remember to insert pictures of it here. It's the black bar of soap. I clean my face with that every single day. At night when I'm taking my makeup off, the other thing I use every single day are the microfiber towels to remove your makeup. So what I do, I will wet my face first with water. I then get this really wet and go in and wipe off, you know, visible makeup. It gets all the eye makeup off. Then I go in and lather up and clean my face with the soap. And then I go back in and wipe down with this again. That's what I do. That's how I clean my face. So now let's talk about things that I think make an even bigger difference on your skin. And I mean, this, the last one's gonna be controversial. So I'll start with the obvious things, sleep. I have not gotten the best sleep over the last probably couple of years. A variety of factors. I'm sure my age has a lot to do with it. Our aging dog had a lot to do with it. Um, you know, having older kids, worries, all of those things. Um, I feel like my sleep has improved as of late, so um, which is a good thing. And I think anytime you can protect that sleep the best you can, that's really, really important because it's so hard to feel good. Like I just feel like garbage if I don't sleep well and just, you know, you don't feel good about yourself and it probably shows in your skin too. Um, I saw a picture my husband had taken of me the other day and I'm like, God, I just look tired in that picture. So just feeling rested, you feel better and you probably look better, it probably shows in your skin. One other thing to consider when you're thinking about sleep is the pillows you're using and all of that because everybody's a different sleeper. Like I, I tend to be a side sleeper. I pretty much go, I mean, I will fall asleep on my back, but I'm mostly a side and other side sleeper. I just kind of alternate sides all night long. And so if you got your face, if you're like that, or if you happen to be a stomach sleeper even, but if you've got your face smushed up in a pillow, I really think that can contribute to like lines and thing creases forming maybe more sooner than you would want them to. So maybe consider getting a different kind of pillow. I've had a couple different pillow varieties and some of it's because I tend to like to elevate my head and I realize that then contributes to strain like in the neck and shoulder area. So I've tried a couple different pillows. Recently, the company Omnia sent me their Sleep and Glow pillow. And it's one of those, I'm gonna insert the picture here of the package it came in, um, where it like, it's flat and then you can see it has like the two curved up ends and it keeps you from doing that smush face factor I was talking about. And it also, um, you know, has these other benefits. Honestly, my husband tried it too, and he liked it for his neck because he tends to get a strained neck too. I don't know. I think we have way too many pillows going on, and so I'm trying to get accustomed to that lower flat pillow, but it still has that curved side. I don't know, and I do think it makes a difference because then when I'm sleeping, there's less of my, my face is more exposed, if that makes sense, versus being all smushed up in a pillow. I know that Omnia is offering a special right now and they were nice enough to send me a code. So I'll put the link below if it's something you wanna give a try. Um, if, especially if you happen to be like a side sleeper like myself, you might find that it makes a difference not only with like less face creases, but also with like less stiffness and through the neck and shoulders if that happens to you. Another obvious, staying hydrated. I happen to really like good old tap water. I don't have an issue drinking lots of water. I like coffee, so I do have to be careful to like offset. I try to have, you know, plenty of water in addition to any coffee um, so that I'm not dehydrating, dehydrating myself with too much coffee. So I do try to drink lots of water. I think diet plays a huge part in how your skin looks. I think sometimes we don't associate how our skin looks necessarily with our like what we've been eating. Um, there's some obvious things if you have an allergic reaction, but I think things like skin conditions like eczema, psoriasis, just various rashes and things all probably have some type of relationship to what we've been eating and a reaction to it. But I'm not even talking about that in, in terms of just my overall face and how I look. I, there is no doubt in my mind that I look better and I feel my best when I eliminate most carbohydrates from my diet. 
I, we recently went on a trip to England and Scotland and I just let myself, I didn't let myself go, but I mean, I allowed myself to eat foods that I would not normally be eating here, which included a lot of carbohydrates. I came back from that trip a few pounds heavier, but I could just see it in my face. I felt like I looked puffier. I'm still not back to where I want to be. And that's been a few weeks now. Um, but just recently I've really like kind of recommitted and refocused. We've had a lot going on like socially in the last month and I feel like I let myself stray off course and I've sort of re refocused and I can't get over how, well, I will say how much better I feel mentally. This I, I feel like this could be a whole nother video, but I, I think I feel happier when I cut out carbohydrates and um, I feel like very soon after doing so, I look better like inflammation and like bloating puffy face goes down and just, I just look better. So at the time of this video, I don't know if things have caught up yet, but 100% I feel my best when I have the least amount of carbohydrates. And I know that might be, some people be like, no, 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 you need vegetables, you need this. Well, that's a whole other topic, but I just know for me, and I know there's plenty of other people that don't don't tolerate carbohydrates well, and I 100% know that I'm one of those people. And the last thing that I do um, in terms, and I consider it partially skincare, just I, it's more like overall wellness care, and that is making sure I get sun daily if possible and without sunscreen. Um, it's maybe a shocker for a lot, I, um, I think the sun is so beneficial. Um, I'm sure you've heard of it, you know, helping to synthesize vitamin D in your skin, but it goes beyond that so much. There's uh, research behind how it uh, contributes to immune function on so many levels, decreased cases of certain cancers, um, lowering blood pressure, increasing insulin sensitivity, um, improving sleep because it often helps set your circadian rhythms. Um, and I 100% feel better, feel happier when I get my daily dose of vitamin D via the sun. Now I don't go out and burn myself. I don't go out and like overdo it. I'm just talking exposure to sun. And I've gotten to the point where I can tolerate quite a bit of sun without burning. I know everybody's skin is different, so I'm not suggesting anyone go out and do what I do, but um, there's a lot of interesting um, information out there on basically your diet and how that contributes to how much sun you can tolerate. And I definitely feel that like I can stay out in the sun much longer than I could have years ago and my diet's much different now. And so, you know, it, I could stay out for an hour or two, not burn, um, but I don't use sunscreen. I would rather just get myself out of the sun or cover up than to put on a bunch of sunscreen. So that's just me, but I, I feel my best. And honestly, I feel like I look my best when I've been in the sun. And I think, honestly, that's true for a lot of people. You know, you feel like that glow if you've been out in the sun and get that, and I'm not talking a burn, but just that rosiness that then later fades into just kind of a glow. People look healthy and vibrant, and I think there's something to it. So I, I make sure to get out and walk in the sun. I'll go sit in the sun. We have a neighborhood pool. I do all of those things and it just helps me feel my best. So that's it on this video. Um, let me know if there's anything special that you do to take care of your skin. Um, and you know, I'd love to hear it. And just because what I'm doing just feels right for me at this point in time. Thank you so much for watching. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up consider subscribing, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.